No, Colby, we don't want to go back into the studio right now. We need to go out and do our busking for the day first. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 2 of Rising Star 2. Uh, that's right, we are in a new series now. I hope you guys liked the first episode. I am recording this one immediately after, so I don't know what your reaction is just yet. But uh, anyway, I told you I'd be right back uh, for the second episode. We're covering from where we left off last episode. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, it helps with the algorithm. And look forward to any comments that you guys have. Um, as I mentioned last episode, I know you guys were pretty into the last music uh, simulator that I played uh, so hopefully you're into this one as well. Uh, but let's back out of the calendar where we were at. We don't want to do our repairs yet. Remember, I will do that on occasion. If you see me do it, sue me. Um, you won't get anything because I don't have no money. Uh, but let's go ahead and get to the park. And you can see, uh, I mentioned last episode with the, uh, you know, this city we're in here uh, is a three by three map. Uh, so it's pretty easy to get around, doesn't take very long. And you can see yesterday when we were here, we had to do landscaping. Well, now it's nice and manicured. So now we can go out and busk. And as long as all of your band members have their acoustic instruments and they're in good working order, we have all five of us lined up there and getting it done. Colby getting down on his keyboard, of course, and he leveled up there. So let's take a look at him. So as I said, first level for everybody, we're going to get them to level five in repair and then dump everything else into their primary skill. Uh, now, moving forward with him, I will probably do uh, two or three points into production up until he gets to about 40, because honestly, that's going to last us for a while. And then we'll start going into stage presence and he's already got six points in writing lyrics, so maybe I'll make him uh, a second lyricist. And eventually we'll want all five of our band members writing music or lyrics. So we're at the house. Once I hit the shortcut key, H. All right, Colby, we're back in your domain, but first we have to let Joyce walk us through the repairs. So start off with me. Nothing, nothing. Oh, and I just screwed up again. You know why I'm doing that? Because my repair person is in that fourth spot in my other playthrough. <laughs> That's why. But she failed. And she, her, her repair is actually pretty low. When she levels up, I'm going to actually give her points there to help out with this. All right, but anyway, we finished. So now we can, what we can do is we can go into our song list, and there's our song we wrote in episode one, Recombine. 20 quality, 26 difficulty, no popularity, because we haven't played it yet, and we have no playing skill. So we can go play it, but it's not going to be very good. And then you notice the attitude is a positive attitude. That's green. If it's yellow, that'll be neutral. If it's red, that'll be a negative. So those will change, and you'll use those to help you when you set your set list. But let's go ahead and write another song. 20 more ideas into the pool today. Remember, if they have the green border, which means they're maxed out on inspiration, uh, then they will have a chance to get a bonus. So we do have the six here. That's the first thing I do. Is, is there anything really big that I want to pull out? All right, remember we had these two sixes. Well, now that we are up to 15 points, we can do that. And that gives us a 10 in uh, for a riff. Riffs always seem to me to be the hardest ones to come across with. Just, uh, just how it seems. Let me go through the rest of these. Nope, nope. Just looking to see if I've got anything I can combine. And it's hard for me to think and pay attention while I'm talking to you guys. There we go. Uh, so that gives us a three. Hmm. 
No. No. There's one. Uh, they're both travel. Okay, well, I'm, all, I'm down to one point, so that doesn't help us. All right, let's go ahead and construct a new song. Well, my highest melody cuts out my 10 riff. Hmm. So let's do that and then see what's left. Okay, there's a six education song. I've got to take that, and then that leaves me either one of these. Now, here's where I want to look. So Marty, Murrin, Allison. So Marty or Murrin will get the duplicate. Remember, Marty is my music writer. So let's go ahead and give him two, and that's going to give him to help his ego, because my ego doesn't matter, remember. Uh, we're going to make this one a high energy, and we rearrange furniture. I think Joyce has a cleaning fetish. She rearranges furniture all the time, so it's a song about her. Uh, so we'll finish writing that song. And there's another 100 experience points for all of them. And we've moved on to the next day. So let's pop out of the house. We'll give. Now you can see uh, there are some businesses that have help wanted signs out. Uh, that is fine. Like right there, Wilson's printing. But we don't want to do any jobs other than busking for the time being. Uh, if you're ever looking, you can come into the city guide and there is a list of jobs available uh, as well as concerts in separate tabs. Percy. Shh. Sorry about that, guys. All right. So we're doing our busking for the day. We'll make a little bit of money. Now, eventually we'll, we'll make we'll make over two hundred dollars a day. So it'll it'll become a money making uh, thing. Uh, let's see. So we're up to there. So let's do another music for her uh, and another repair. Well, no, I don't want to spend any repair for her. Let's do all the rest on stage presence. Let's do that. All right. Now we'll go home. And now we'll do our repairs. All right, she got one. I got to sit here and just remember. To do Joyce last, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, so we got that one up pretty high. That gives us another instrument that we can really hammer on with our inexperienced people. And now we've got two songs that we, and so now that's the goal. We've kind of set a threshold. We want all of our songs to be basically here or better. Now the first six, we're not so worried about. Let's go ahead and write a song, 10 new ideas. All right, let's see if we can find any. No, no melodies are ready to combine. So we've got a couple of threes in there now. And we have nine points left. So let's see. All right, we did have these threes. So let's do another Flat Earth song. Oh, that doesn't match up. Oh, okay, my bad. My bad. All right, Colby, you can do that one. Two depressions for Colby. All right, we've got four in here. 
Three of them are depressions, so let's go ahead and combine the two depressions. And let's do one travel, just to have something different. And that gets us down to one point. And let's go ahead and write another song. So you just kind of got to play around with this and find the pieces. We have a lot of threes there that are still alive, but only one melody. And that leaves that, and then that leaves that. So there we go. So Murrin with three pieces in this song. Allison with one. We'll go high. Disapproval in the bathroom. Well, we have quite a few women in the house, just a couple of guys. I guess Marty and Colby have been leaving the toilet seat up, and Murrin wrote most of this, so she's disapproval of the bathroom in the bathroom. Quit leaving the toilet seat up, guys. Uh, so, yep, that's what we'll do. That's a 12-song difficulty, not the best that we've done. And Colby not feeling well. Lay off the sweets, dude. You know, well, he's, he's kind of buff. I guess he's not the one on sweets. He's got a little bit of a dad bod going on, right? All right, so we've written the song. We're to the next day, and this is basically how it's going to repeat. So again, let's go back out. In fact, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording. We'll come back here in a little while. Uh, when Probably let's come back next Friday. Uh, because that way we can go to the gig and you guys can see how that works. I'll do my busking and I'll, basically I'll be doing this. Busking, repairing, writing a song until I have six or seven songs. And then we'll start practicing those songs daily. Uh, and then until we're ready to gig. And we'll use the interim time to go to bars and start building up our relationships. Be ready to gig probably near the end of the month. So we'll see you guys back here in a second. Okay, we're not quite to the weekend through the weekend, but I wanted to come back because we had an, an event happen. So this happens periodically uh, during the course of the game. And you can see on this day in history, Elvis Presley was born. So we'll get triple experience points today. So I kind of wanted to show you what we do for that. So let's go ahead and go outside. We're going to start our busking first and foremost. Now I usually make the block. You can come down here and make a U-turn if you want to. It's a little bit quicker. So we're going to come up and busk. Now check this out. You've seen how many points we get for doing that. It is 200 on a regular day. So triple experience point day. Guess how many that is? You're right. If you said 600, I am. And uh, Murrin levels up. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to keep, I'm going to tack one into repair on her. Uh, we are going to go with another writing music and the rest into stage presence. Not playing right now, dog. Thank you, though. All right. Go to the house. Now remember. Playing a gig, well, not playing a gig, practicing, writing a song, or resting, or recording a song ends the current day. So we're going to be real careful. Now, one thing, uh, Joyce screwed the pooch and uh, broke one of our guitars. Shame on her. And that's a zero. So we cannot fix that. Even if we had a 100 repair skill, we've got to bring that down to the record store and have somebody pay, uh, pay somebody to fix that. Uh, so yeah, that's not great. Okay. So we are just going to kind of go through these. All right. He leveled up. Let's go ahead and give him a couple of points in repair and the rest. Um, Let's give him a little stage presence because he is our vocalist. Uh, let's see. You, let's dump, jump down here. You leveled up. Awesome. So we'll give you another. Let's give you one repair, two production, and one stage presence and one lyrics. 
And then let's see if she can. All right. Well, she didn't do great, but that's okay. All right. So let's go ahead and leave. We're not going to write a song now. I do want to go by the record store. See how much it'll cost to fix that instrument. So we're going to go down here and repair. So you can repair all. What refurbish is, you see how like this has an 88 max. It brings the max condition to 100 for each instrument that you do. But we don't want to do that. We just want to pick that one. And now this is Murren's guitar. Remember, all the band money is her money. Everybody else has their own money. If they need more than their money, then the band would cover it. But for Murren, we want to go ahead and get that fixed. We're just going to repair it right now because I don't want to pay the 356. And now we're down 168 down the road. Uh, we can maybe pay that down the road. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get out of the record store. And what we're going to do is we're going to go driving. So we've done our job today. We've repaired. And we want to maximize all of that experience points. So let's go to Athens, first of all. And it, we can get there today. Now, we do have some gas money, you know, that we are spending. And you see we got 162 XP for just driving. Uh, so that's triple what we would have gotten. Uh, let's go to Atlanta. And if we time this right, which that was 240 XP, that's great. So what I want to try to do, if I can, I want to get back to Macon today. So I'm not sure if I could drive anywhere else, but we got another 261 for that. So think of, that's almost 1,000 XP just for driving around. So that's really important. And we're going to go ahead and write a song. We had a couple of people that had the green bars. So we picked up three new ideas. And look at this. Marty has cranked out a 15 and a 10 idea. We're going to immediately bank those. Uh, Marty's also put in a 6 rhythm. And nothing else of any fancy in there. So let's go and see... Again, I'm going to pause it here because I don't think you guys need to see all this all the time. So let me do this, and uh, if I get a really good song, we'll come back. Uh, if not, I'll just be back later in the week for the gigs. All right, we've reached Friday, January 13th. We've got this pop-up. We just finished... Uh, practicing on Thursday. So we're flipped over to Friday morning. Remember practicing, writing songs and recording and the current day you're in. Uh, so we are, we have a reminder that we wanted to go see this gig with the gigantic spade and reaction in the boy uh, playing at Sasha's bar tonight. Uh, but that doesn't preclude us from doing our business. And whether you are watching a gig or, or playing a gig, there is a little hack that you can utilize uh, on these days. So first off, we're going to go back up to the park. Now, again, you can busk for, it's 10 to 14 days. We're still busking from that initial landscaping that we did. Uh, we are going to reach the point we'll have to cut the grass again, and we lose a day of busking to that, but that's okay. We want to make sure we busk every day possible, until we get up to the 20 playing port point. Everybody's still getting it. You can see uh, Murren's at 11, Allison's at 19, Marty at 17, Joyce at 17, and Colby at 12. So we will have a couple of our band members, uh, including ourselves, that will not be able to level up or that will be leveling up while other people are not. Uh, also, uh, Grandpa... Uh, Colby's synthesizer broke yesterday when uh, we bust, and I caught it this morning. So he had to go pay some of his money to repair it. And you can see he's down to $35 in his personal account. So not good for him. And you can see we're starting to get a couple of successes. Some, some. <laughs> Not all that many. All right, let's try to boost that back up one.
All right, so that was a successful run by Joyce to get some of our really bad equipment at least up into manageable. And we've got a couple of pieces of gear that we need to finish utilizing. Let's take a look at our song list. So we now have, uh, what's that, seven songs. Uh, I'll sort them by quality. So you can see our worst song has an 11 quality. Uh, Recombine, our first song that we wrote, is at 20. Uh, There's a curse word to describe you. Uh, is a 23. That was written by Marty. I'm sure it's by one of the girls that were giving him uh, grief in the song Disapproval in the Bathroom. Uh, the girls also wrote We Love a Cat Fight. Uh, that was interesting. Now, a lot of these songs, I, I did the randomized name and then just kind of named it something in there that triggered something. So a lot of my song references will be sexual in orientation uh, or a little catty. Uh, but you know anything funny if you guys have song ideas uh, Something in those lines or in the Celtic vein uh, Leave them in the comments. I'll make a list of them and we'll see about using those songs as we get deeper into the game and really have our Long-term set list these songs will not be part of that uh, By any stretch uh, you can see we have a playing skill of six uh, in most of the songs, something rejects me. And you notice he called her something, not someone. Uh, toxic masculinity there, Marty. Calm down. Uh, but that has a four. And you notice they all have positive attitudes except for that one. Uh, and that's just the uh, song is uh, Climate Change. And climate change is not a positive or a negative. But you can see that was a song, uh, an idea from Allison that was a 15. So that's huge. I don't want to go in to write a song to show you the idea bank because, well, Colby's got one. So here's the thing. Whenever anybody has, I want to check. So she's got zero. Everybody's got zero. So let's go ahead and go in and just to write a song. We got 10 new ideas. Uh, and so you can see we've got a 10, a six by Marty. Allison had that 15 and a 10. So that's huge. That was definitely good. Um, let me do this real quick and then we'll go to that gig tonight. All right, we've combined all of our pieces, all of our ideas. Uh, so we've got quite a few threes starting to build up. 
Uh, we've got a few sixes and a 10 in lyrics, a six and a 10 in riffs. So what I'd like to try to get is uh, a couple of a, a rhythm and melody uh, also in that six to 10 range uh, before we try to write our next song. Uh, and at least it gives us some options. So we've done our repairs. We have done our job today. We've gone and bust. So we've combined our pieces, which we doesn't take time. So now we can either write a song, practice, but we want to go to that gig tonight, right? And we want to watch the gig at Sasha's Bar. And you can see when we take an actual job or a reminder, it gives us a yellow. Before we do that, I want to go or make the rounds here and do something. So... Let's go inside the first music store, and because Murren's first, I want to look at her first guitar. And if we sell this here, we can get $119 for it. Remember, we bought it for $83. So, $119, I want to remember that. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the rounds of all the record stores in town. And again, with a smaller town... It just makes it easier because you have less to go to. Uh, so here we could sell it for 145. So I'm going to go to the map and I'm going to right click on that place to highlight it with the little green square. And just to remind myself, 145. And we've got one more record store to go to. So what you're going to find, or actually we have a couple more record stores, three more. The 145. This one's 141. And what you'll find is one record store will always buy it for more than anybody else. And once you find that place, that's where you want to sell all your gear moving forward. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and buy some of this gear and it looks like that place up top at 145 was the best place and all i'm worried about right now is i it, I, I could look for gear for the other people but i'm looking for gear amplifiers uh so let's see she plays bass she's got a couple of hundred bucks uh all right. He has 925, so we'll buy him that mic. Again, not much in the way of gear for vocalists. I mentioned that in episode one. Uh, and a keyboard. Nothing there. We're going to go back up to the store up top. Uh, if any of you are from Macon or the Georgia area and you've got some uh, the names of some places that... Uh, you want us to rename some of the stores for, that would be great. Now this one gives us a plus five playing. That's four higher. You can tell us, it see, see it tells us four higher than anything else that I've got. It's a good chunk of our cash. It would cost me $500, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. And since I have that one now, the, I don't get a writing skill for this one. It's just a playing skill. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and sell that. We bought it for 83. I can sell it for 145. And that's basically what we're going to do is if it makes sense to sell it, then we're going to do that. All right, let's see if there's anything else for anybody else. All right, there's a base. Not surprising. All right, there's a drum kit for her. Even though it doesn't have a skill upgrade, what we're doing is we're buying... Now, this one's a good upgrade just in general. That'll be our new gig, gig keyboard. And that'll be good. So, you know, I'm always looking to add into our inventory. You want to be careful because it will actually override your other pieces of gear. Uh, but we're back home. It's Friday night. Let's go back outside. Oh, no, we haven't gone to the show yet. Okay. Forgot. I got sidetracked by the uh, equipment. So now we've determined the best place to go for selling gear is Sarah's right there. 
And now we're coming to Sasha's to do our watch the gig tonight. So we walk into Sasha's bar. Of course, we've got our swag on. All right, Allison and Joyce flaunt it. Uh, so this is a 50 capacity bar in the showroom. We have no reputation. Uh, you can see there are a few patrons. What's going to be interesting with these patrons, you see how basic musicianship is either a current thing or a coming thing. Now, it's not on the list. So basic musicianship is low difficulty songs. So you can see attitude is basic musicianship. So all of our songs, if our best song is already basic, I don't know what the cutoff is, but you're going to want to keep these songs because they may turn out to be some good gig songs down the road. So as we can see, she's, uh, this person's telling us basic musicianship is coming. As your reputation gets higher, you'll have more people that will talk to you. Man, it must be the 1970s in here. See, he's the only one. And you'll also, as we start giving away or selling t-shirts down the road, we'll start seeing some of the fans in the, in the venues with our shirts on. All right, let's go in and watch the show. The Gigantic Spade is the headline act. And there you go. Oh, it's a four-piece girl band. That's awesome. All right, we can view the results. Now, we all get 200 experience points for that, so that's not a bad idea if a triple XP shows up on uh, a weekend. Go out and do your driving, come back and do, you know, do your repair, your busking, or your job, drive, come to a gig, and that's just another way to really max out. Now, the drawback here, minus 120 in, in, the, in the old wallet, but you can see we gained happiness. So that's how you can build your happiness on your characters. We all got 20 inspiration. So closer to being 100 on that. We got some reputation with the bar and with the two bands, uh, mostly with the opening act reaction in the boy. And that's it. Now we leave there. It's still nighttime. We're not done yet. We can do one more thing. So remember this for gig nights or also on those triple xps we're going to come in and now practice all seven of our songs and we all got 70 xp for that so that's good uh and then we have a gig tonight and you can see we've gone up murin leveled up let's give her one more repair uh one more in music and all the rest into stage presence we really want her the stage presence you want one person and you'll build that up for all of them over time. Now, we do have a level 50 cap in the game. but So you want to max out your primaries and then figure out where you want to go from there. Uh, so she's leveled up. Uh, but let's go ahead and call that an episode. Uh, I'm going to keep playing here. Uh, so it may, you know, this will be episode two in the can. Um Episode three, I don't know exactly, but maybe when we're about ready for our first gig. Uh, and I don't know when that'll be, because for that to happen, I really want all of these to be up over 50 playing skill. I'd like it higher than that, but at least to start, you know, to where we don't just like piss ourselves on the stage. Uh, I'd like to have at least a 50 playing skill. Right now, we're only getting two a day. Uh, when we practice, so I'll be practicing every day uh, that we can, going to gigs on the weekends just to watch other bands. Might try to get to some uh, some gigs out of town, maybe up in uh, Athens, Augusta, and Columbus as well. Start expanding our 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 footprint out into some surrounding towns, not just here, uh, and that'll be something we can do. To do that, you just drive to that city. Uh, pull up the city guide, look at the concerts going on. And what we're going to want at, an, at a certain point is we are going to want to do a Battle of the Bands. So if you win the Battle of the Bands, you get an automatic half point uh, reputation. So you can see our reputation right now, our popularity is 0.35. That's been from the busking that we're doing every day. 
and that's only here in Macon. So if we win a Battle of the Bands in one night, we go up from 0.35 to 0.85, and then there are Battle of the Bands in the bars, the 50 venues. There are Battle of the Bands in the 300 venues, but you have to have a 2 to 2.99 reputation there. Uh, in the bars, it's 0 to 1.99, just FYI. Uh, so um, we're probably going to stay away from hiring a manager. Once we get to uh, over 1, a 1 1.0 popularity, we can hire a manager. That does help in like setting up local gigs, setting up tours, but they'll book all your days and they won't leave room for Battle of the Bands. They do not seek out other bands. So uh, somebody on the Discord channel told me, don't hire a manager just because you can until a little bit later. Really focus on those Battle of the Bands, drive around, set your gigs, um, build not only in your hometown, which is pretty easy, but get outside of there. So I'm going to start doing that on the weekends. Maybe next weekend we'll go uh, out of town and the following weekend. Uh, but the goal here is to get over 50 in our playing ability, uh, our playing skill, and l keep leveling up. And uh, I don't think we'll write any more songs unless, of course, I see some big numbers come in. Um so we will do that. In fact, while she's here and she has that max out, again, you all, I want to check something. Okay, so they've got 44. I've never checked this. So let's just, let's, let's do our repair. Okay. All right, Joyce, again, once you get up over 50, this gets so much easier, but, you know, we are dealing with it. All right, let's write a song, Murin, 27 New Ideas. Uh, Allison picked up a, a 10 flat earth in there. Oh, we've got a six melody. That'll be good. I haven't combined anything, but you can see we're down to three days on some of these. So we really want to try to either bump these up if we can, uh, which none of those will. Or, you know, we're going to end up losing them or we have to bank them. Now, the ones I'm not worried about, but those threes would be nice to build on, wouldn't they? So what we may do is here in a day or two is if these are gone, we may move some of these down here to lock them together uh, just to give us a little more time if we need to. Um, what else? There was something else I wanted to do while I was here. It's gig night. That's right. I, I don't want to write a song. We've done our repairs. We haven't bust yet. So let's go ahead and do. Well, you guys, you guys saw the gig Friday. Um, the musical animals where we're going to be. So guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, hit the like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think so far. And uh, hey, we're out at the park. Keep rocking. We'll see you guys next episode. Take care. Bye. Yeah.